Hello my friends, HM here. In this video I'm going to show you how to make two kinds of baked almonds. You should try to bake your almonds because in that way you can get far more flavor out of your almonds than if you just eat almonds that you buy and don't do anything with them. It's almost a waste of money <laughs> just to buy almonds and not do anything about them because it's so easy. So here we have the almonds and I'm going to do one thing first with them. I'm going to boil them in hot water. I'm also doing this here because I'm going to make a lot of almonds, almost a kilo. Boiling them in hot water, these almonds, just for five minutes or so, that will loosen the skin up and then we can go to the next step. Five minutes has passed and these almonds has been boiled. I want to show you something about these almonds. Look at how dirty the water is. It's like brown and full of stuff. And that apparently is something that just falls off the skin of these almonds when they are boiled. I don't know, it's legal of course to sell almonds with skin, not processed in any way. But do they put any poison on them so they don't rot or something? I just like to boil my almonds to get rid of all this dirt that is sitting on those almonds. And this is why I have this method I'm showing you here. But what are we going next? We're going to and look at this water. Look at this water. I mean... It's crazy how dirty it is. Now I clean this with cold water, these almonds, and mo even more dirt seems to come off. So now that we have boiled these almonds, it's actually quite easy to get the skin off, and you can just de-skin them by doing this. Now it's easy to do this, you can see how I do here with my fingers, but it takes an enormous amount of time. So unless I'm doing a dish, that absolutely need these almonds to be de-skinned. I really don't de-skin these almonds, but I am doing a dish where I need these de-skinned almonds. And that's over here. Just a little side note, it's some uh, ice cream I'm preparing together with these amarena cherries and all kind of other goodies and almonds. And they have to be de-skinned for that dish. But I'm not going to show you how I de-skin a lot of almonds. What I'm going to show you now is how to also make these almonds with skin super delicious so you don't have to waste a lot of time de-skinning them. But first we have to do a little trick. I put them over in this pot here, mixer pot I'll call it, and then we put some salt, finely grained salt, uh, over these almonds. And then you stir it around and give them a little more salt. And then you go over here to this uh, baking plate for the oven and there's a piece of baking paper on top and then you basically put these almonds out here. Just distribute them out. Anyway, so uh, now you can imagine what happens next. This one here goes into the oven and you roast them at about 200 degrees Celsius for about 20 minutes. But it differs from oven to oven how long you have to roast them. You need to know when they are perfectly roasted. With almonds, when you roast them, it's almost like cheese. There is a window of opportunity where that cheese is just super delicious. And if you eat the cheese too early, then it's too raw. And if you eat it too late, it's just too much and too strong in the taste. The same with almonds when you bake it. What can I say? I'll have to show you when I take it out. I'll be back with the video in about 20 minutes when we get closer and I'll show you. I'll just set this in here in my oven for baking. But now I'm clapping out and I'll be back with more to show you. Hello, I'm back and now I have done two of my free plates with almonds. They're baked and done. This one I have over here has just come out of the oven. I want you to hear. I hope my microphone can pick it up, but they are making clicking sounds and that's perfectly natural. Uh, but how do I know they are done? You can't kind of see anything on the surface because of this skin is on them. Well, you can do the, the cutting test and I'm going over here to show you. See, I've cut up a lot of almonds here, but if I cut this one up, you can see that it breaks. And you can see it's brown all the way through, then you know it's done. Now. If it's still in the oven, it wouldn't have broken up like that. I would just have slide through it when it's really warm. But the color 
is what you need to pay attention to. This one is done when it has this color. Now my other plate over here, it has been drying out for longer. It was the first one that was done. This one and was also very cool, so I expect it to kind of splinter when I do this. Also because it was... Okay, now I I'm deliberately holding it so it wouldn't crack. This one is done more, has been browned more, but it will still be delicious. Uh, and of course you can uh, brown them to your own likings. You'll figure out what you like. And it's not the same from people to people. Some would like them lightly browned, others more dark browned, like coffee. You can have it more burned or less burned, whether you make espresso or ordinary coffee. Anyway, my point here is that you can just do this cut test and then you know uh, when it's done. This one, done. And you do that and then you take them out of the oven when they are brown on the inside when you cut them. So that's pretty easy. And right now I only have one thing left and let's take one of the almonds out. I'll show you how to do. I think they are done. Uh, well, they are still baking. Let's see. They look brown here on the outside. That's the skinned one here I, I did. Did you see that? They were our cutting. It's really hot. It's not quite done, I think. No. And it's also a little more on the on the side that turns towards the baking plate and than the other one. I don't know, maybe I should give them two more minutes. I think I'll give them maximum two more minutes, then they're done, then I'll take them out. And then those skinned almonds are also done. These skinned almonds, I didn't put any salt on them because I have to use them in an ice cream that I'm doing where they are coming in here and I don't want salt in my ice cream, so they'll be used for that. They're a little more versatile if you don't put salt on them, then you can use them for more things. And you can also add salt later. But it's best if you do it when the almonds are wet and uh, the salt will stick to the wet almonds. And then you bake them and then it dries in and then the salt sticks to the almonds anyway. So this is what I wanted to show with this video. I think you should do it yourself. Your almonds will taste so much better if you do this little thing about baking them. And you can salt them or you can not salt them and you can skin them like I've done with some of mine and you can not skin them. I'm telling you, you save a lot of time by not skinning them. But anyway, that's it for this video. I thank you for watching all the way through here and I wish you a good life in freedom and democracy. Goodbye.